Hey guys, what up? Um, Elder Oblivio here, and today um, I'm going to be showing you how to get free DOS games and uh, be able to play them on a newer computer using an emulator called DOSBox. Alright, so first of all, you want to open up um, your um, internet browser. Um, the first thing we're going to want to get is the emulator. So uh, type in uh, DOSBox.com. Yeah. Go to the second link, Downloads. You can get this for Linux and Mac. So if you're using either a Mac or you know um, a Linux computer, you can do this. Over here, you got. If you guys haven't used DOS before, there's a tutorial. Well, a tutorial on how to use DOSBox because it's a little bit different from DOS, and. Um, there's a little thing down here that tells you that uh, um, DOSBox it works with Vista, so you're gonna want to download it. So um, you know, just download it like any other program or file or anything you download. I'm not downloading it because I already have it, you know. So just download it, and when you're done, continue on. And uh, once you have it done, you know. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to go to is the website where we get all the free DOS games. There's hundreds of, there's hundreds of DOS games on this website. Very good website. Um, simply, it's just called uh, dosgames.com. Click on the first link. Dosgames.com. Download over 500 free DOS games. Whoa pretty hardcore down here you got you know all your games um they have all the genres um shooters um puzzles puzzling games game creators rpgs you know strategy games you know they have everything so um i'm gonna go over to the rpg um the rpg uh page here because you know that's what i'm into I'm also into shooters, but mainly RPGs. Uh, let's see what we got. Ah, Elder Scrolls Arena. Let's get this. Yeah, definitely. This is what I'm going to download for the video. Alright, so um, here's what you guys need to know about um, DOSGames.com. Normally, you'd be able to download the, uh, the game itself off the website, but since this is shareware from Bethesda themselves, they put this up. No copyright and fragment. This is not illegal to download this, uh, these two games right here. Now, the link there said Arena, but you can also get Daggerfall too. But um, I'm just going to go with Arena. Uh, make sure it uh, everything gets extracted to your main hard drive, the C hard drive. So, um, oh, this worked fine. All right. So now, um, we're going to want to run the game. So we're going to, um, um, we're going to want to go to a uh, computer, hard, main hard drive, hard drive one, the C hard drive. As you can see, it's pretty much full. Now, as you can see, uh, Arena, all its files, they were all downloaded here. But we can't play Arena from here since it's a DOS game. So, um, what you're going to want to do is while we're in your hard drive, you're going to um, want to start a uh, new file, make a new file. Um, and um, you're going to 
want to call it um, whatever you want. I'm going to pick uh, DOS games, you know, and then just drag that, drag and drop, and uh, it's in there now. All right, so now that we got that, um, we're going to want to open up DOS box itself. So click on that. DOS box should come up in all its glory. Alrighty, so um, now that we got DOS box um, up and running, uh, we're going to want to put in the code. Um, so, you know, every DOS game is pretty different, but this is the most basic way to start up any DOS game if you, you know, put them in that file in the DOS games file in the hard drive so you're gonna want to mount the hard drive so mount DOS games DOS uh, drive C is mounted as a local directory put that in once more um, now you're going to want to put in CD Arena. Arena. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god, it started up. So, you know. Here's the game. But yeah, you guys get the picture. This works very well. We get the CPU cycles up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.